Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So, uh, Sturgis Motorcycle Rally was yeah. last week. Good old boys. Yeah, big old vroom vrooms. I don't know about that. <laughs> we should uh, we should go downtown when they do the, the Austin Motorcycle Rally. All right. And okay. just talk to people about their hogs. All right. That like, like, what's your favorite sort of hog, dog? And like, see what they say. I'm going to let you do the talking for that one, because I'm not going to say that. <laughs> so, uh, Harley, of course, giant motorcycle brand, right? Absolutely. Um, one of the most popular. They have they usually have a giant tent at Sturgis. You know, people buy motorcycles, you know, just showing off new things. Any, any convention sort of thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was hardly any people at it at all. Very empty. Oh, really? Were, were they selling Bud Light or something? Was can you can you guess why? Did they have a trans attendant? They got Bud Lighted. Harley got Bud Lighted. So I guess there was some guy online, and he was like, it's time to expose Harley Davidson. What? Harley Davidson has been the most beloved brands in America, but recently the CEO, Jacques Zietz, ha- has taken them totally woke. Uh oh! How did they wake up, Jonas? So, what did they knew. I watched a little bit of the video, but basically, like they've started like supporting LGBTQ, LGBTQ events, and like so. I was watching this video, and and you know, and then he goes, "This does not talk to the people who do the brand of Harley Davidson." So basically, like there's some, we you don't hate the same people we hate. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so what the fuck. So basically. You know they got they got Bud Lighted and like so the people who people who support them uh, decided not to, to boycott them from because they like they're woke. I don't know, dude. It it just it's insane. But um, but they're getting they're getting uh, Bud Lighted. They're getting Bud Lighted. It's amazing to me. I mean, you know, and Bud Light obviously bounce, and I should say Anheuser Busch bounced back. From- they said they actually have not yet. They still have not bounced back from that. I just saw an article the other day that they really? their sales have still not recovered from that. Really? People took that seriously, bro. Like they were like, "No, nah, I'm good." They switched over to some other trans hating beer. I don't know. What okay, so look. Okay, so here's the real question. I always say that cancel culture is kind of bullshit, right? I've I've always stood on that, and I mean, it looks as though maybe I'm a little naive to the fact of. It can have a a consequence because this is a major brand that lost millions of dollars because they thought they were standing for something noble. And to a certain extent, cancel culture itself, the virality of the cancel culture has affected their margins. And to this day, the interesting part is it's reverse cancel culture. No, I mean, it's 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 still cancel culture. It's just cancel culture for the bad, I guess. Well, right, because it's like reverse. Because normally someone comes out and they say something bad about gays. They say something bad about trans. And then all the people who support it are like, I'm not going to support your brand because you don't support equality or whatever. Yeah. This is, we support this and all the racist bigots. Yeah. Transphobes who, who are their customer base. Yeah. Canceled them. Yeah. So they're like, you are supporting things we don't believe in. Yeah. So instead of being progressive, not being progressive enough, they're being too progressive for their customer base. You're not standing up for the uh, values that your brand supports. Like I said, you shoot a person because you're protecting your family or you shoot a person because you want their stereo, you're shooting a person. So... The issue is here is what I'm saying is like cancer culture is something, but what is the sentiment that we should take from like America? Because this is an American brand, American. Uh, oh yeah, Bud Light and Har- oh, I mean, I don't know if Anheuser Busch is, but I mean, but and, Harley is an American brand. Yeah, like, 100%. yeah, and like Americans are speaking when, or at least the Americans that would utilize those products are speaking. What is what does that tell you? What what information do we do we take from that? Do we take from that is that people really do not want this as a part of our culture? But you're seeing that lots of companies are now all of a sudden revoking their DEI departments and like 
like like Microsoft, I think was one of them. A lot of they're just like, oh, we're getting rid yeah. of our DEA. So yeah. it's like even even Blizzard, man, beloved Blizzard, did the same thing. Yeah, and it's like people are in like in that. It's kind of it makes me feel weird because like. I'm very progressive. I'm like, do what you want to do, man. I don't care what what you do, what you want. As long as you're not hurting people, like, whatever. Um, But it speaks volumes that America has such a large population of bigots that companies are listening to the bigots and, like, going away from being so, like, quote-unquote woke because they're afraid they're going to lose business because they're too progressive. Yeah. I (laughs) want... Mm, I, like I say, I also think it's an issue with the internet and just echo chambers because mm-hmm. all it takes is for a few people to start something and everybody wants to be a part of something. I wonder if it is truly just like downright bigotry or if it's like just like follow culture. You want to be a part of something. <laughs> yeah, I, but if you support trans people, why would you follow a boycott of Bud Light because someone trans was spokesperson for him? Like, that doesn't even make sense. If, I'm, have- out, if I'm out with a bunch of my friends and I might even be like, I'm okay with it. I might even be a gay person myself and uh, and maybe they just don't know about it and everybody's ordering uh, Heineken's sh- now because yeah. and, and I say, I'll just have a Bud Light. I look like, you know, I look like the the weirdo in the group. I can't believe you're drinking that F word beer. You know, I could see that <laughs> oh happen. God. I can't believe you're riding that F word bike. I could see that. I could see that happening. And a lot of times that type of public shaming is is all it takes to make a person uh, choose a different you brand of beer. Light in your closet at home. Yeah. I mean, that's all it would take. I don't know if that is an aspect of it. I don't know if it's the internet echo chambers who just like the the what do you call it the loud minority that that promotes this type of stuff, or know, or man. or we just have a certain degree of fatigue with it. Well, with wokeness, with yes. DEI, and this brings me back to the point of, in its nature, all of these things, all of these initiatives are. Like they're pure. pure, yeah. But businesses will try to play on it to up their gains. So, do I feel bad for Harley Davidson? I don't know, kind of, but not really, because the only reason you're pushing it is so that you can put your name up at some of these events and try to garner patrons from that community, right? And then in turn, you're losing your core culture, your core customer base so what are they gonna do at the end of the day they're gonna stop doing it and then they're gonna be like all right let's recoup our money by playing some american stuff focusing on the heartland and children here's the here's the thing if you stand for everything you stand for nothing that part so like they didn't have to come out and say we're anti-trans just don't go that road don't go don't put your name on events like that if you're if you know your customer base is not that customer base how do you feel also if your company, the primary of your of your fan base, is so intolerant of others that they will stop using your product just because you put your name up at an event for LGBTQ? Oh, I, I that's feel- insane. Oh. I wouldn't want that customer base. Right. Well, but the problem is, is like they it they've done it to themselves, right? Like it's I mean you've been I riding guess. that train for so long. Yeah. And then every, I think everybody always thinks we're too big to fail. We yeah. can change what we're doing. It'll be fine. Like, I mean, and I feel like Anheuser-Busch is doing good. They're, they're not going to go bankrupt, but but no. they've all, they're definitely not as profitable as they were before that. That's, that's true. That's true. Y- you know what I mean? Like, it hardly ain't going away. And I'm not crying for any of these companies. I don't, I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dude, if Bud Light shut its doors tomorrow, if Harley never na- made another bike, I would not care in the slightest. Okay. Like, I would not give two craps. No. Somebody will take their place and hopefully. I, mean, I love Voodoo Ranger, but if Voodoo Ranger started stop existing tomorrow, I'd just find another beer to drink. What if Voodoo Ranger started promoting uh stop pr- started they started putting MAGA hats on all the cans? <laughs> what if they okay, yeah, what if they did? Started putting MAGA hat anti anti trans sentiment on all of their cans. Are you gonna continue to buy it? It'd be very weird. It would be very weird. I would not purchase that that beverage. I'm right, sorry. Too much like politicism put, in my beverage. It makes it taste bad. But it's bad. not like Harleys are putting rainbow flags on their gas tank. Exactly. You and know, it's like not. they support a 
You know what I mean? But, like, I, yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, same difference of, like, Voodoo Rangers being, like, Trump rally sponsored by Voodoo Ranger. You know what I mean? Like, okay, what if what if what if Voodoo Rangers started putting like twinks and femboys on their cans? I don't care. I don't Oaks, care what you're good on that one, huh? <laughs> but, yeah. you drink, you'll drink that can, huh? <laughs> you but, heard it here, folk, first, folks. But, uh, I don't, dude, it's just that's why I think it's like brand. I, I feel corporations should stay out of politics that and, part and like all of that that part like you should be neutral that part yeah and whoever buys your product if everyone who buys your product is a bigot good for them but don't embrace that keep on the road of we make good beer which bud light is not but you know we make beer we make piss water beer mm -hmm. and people like to drink it because it's cheap and gets you drunk yeah like whatever whether you're gay straight black white whatever People who buy it, buy it. And yeah. then you got Kid Rock shooting up cases of it on with a 12-pack on the internet. You know? Yeah. Because I, I just, I, 100%, I do not believe that these companies actually care about any of these causes. Yeah. They are. They care about the, uh, oh, the, yeah, stock, the stockholders. And, and that's what pissed me off so much about it becoming so prevalent is because, I think I talked about this years ago. It was in everyone's face. Everyone was like, dude, even the company I work for was like, DEI, 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 watch these videos, do this thing. And then slowly over the last couple of years, it's gotten a little less, little less. And now I work for a very like, a very like. Uh, progressive company. Yeah, very progressive company. You know, they're always trying to do new things and, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But in general, but even them, they're. It's less than it. What we were, we used to have to do trainings and watch these videos and talk about it. It's like. And now it's just like they keep it in the forefront, but like other companies, like yeah, like Microsoft Blizzard, they were like, "Oh, we need to get in on this." Nah, dude, because but they don't care. It's not part of their culture. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I, I I don't know, man. I think they've overdone it. It's been promoted too much in TV and movies and media. It's been. It's like oversaturated. It's everywhere. That's the problem because it's it, inclusivity is important. Um, a visual, having the visuals on these people are important, but when it becomes too much and it doesn't actually meet what the, what the actual like, uh, ratios are in real life. Cause I feel like I can, I can go a day without seeing a single gay person, but I can't watch a single show. Is that crazy? Well, it just and there's nothing wrong with well, that. Right. And, right? And, and I mean, we need to wrap it up, Ains. But I guess yeah, my yeah. point is, like, you know, I remember being a kid and watching shows, and like every person on it's white and straight. Yeah. You know what I mean, and, and that was a bad time well, in TV, well, right. right? Exactly. And like, and I understand how like people from different cultures are like they don't see themselves represented, right? Like, I I can never be an astronaut because every astronaut I see is a white 100%. a white male. You know, 100%. like I get it. But like now, every show has like. An Asian character, a black character, a gay character, a straight character, a trans character. Like it's like it's, it's like, almost like you have to because if you don't, then people will call you out for it. Right. And then when right. you do, people will call you out right. for it. Right. It's like it's yeah, and hmm. and I don't know where where the happy medium lies, right? But like the I majority, see, whichever one's going to get the company the most money. Exactly, and that's the sad part. It's all about the money. So, anyways, anything else for you, Ann? Uh, I actually care dynamite care about what i care about people care about oh i me too i thought you made care about harley i was like no i don't all right that's all the time we have for this episode go to the crazy for jonas do you do oh, yeah